Ant Edwards signs massive extension that will take it. What will take? What will it take to get to the elite star status for next season? Now he did sign a big star contract, two hundred and sixty-two million dollars. And the craziest thing about it is the top three picks from his draft in twenty twenty have all got paid. Well, not the top three, but two out of the three guys have got paid. Ant got paid. Lamelo got paid. James Wiseman got a trip to Detroit. So these two have got paid. They are ready to take over as the faces of the NBA. I know it really does sound crazy right now, but that's what it is at the end of the day, that these two guys are in position to become the biggest names in the NBA because LeBron James is, 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 is in his twilight. I know a lot of people don't want to accept that. But he is. I think LeBron probably had his last really good, great season last year. LeBron will tailor off a lot this year. He'll probably uh, average about five points less, a few assists less, and a few rebounds less. And he will have his time monitored. But I feel like we have to start opening up the pathways for the these new era players. Anthony Edwards has everything it takes to be a great player at the end of the day. He has the right attitude. He has the right game. And believe it or not, he's in the right location to where they're going to let him grow and become a great, great asset to not just his team, but to the NBA and to his community as well, too. And I feel like this will be what Kevin Garnett didn't get in Minnesota as they move forward. I feel like they've really went out their way to make a great team around Ant Edwards. And that's because Ant Ant Edwards is a great player and he's a great team player as well, too. A lot of people don't talk enough about Ant Edwards and his, 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 his drive and his passion for the game and how great he truly wants to be. A lot of people are always worried about guys who are on the Twitter, guys who are dating some vixen, some guy who's just, you know, having a good time with the people all the time. And Edwards has his, 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 his fun and things like that, but he's an old school type player. And this is the type of guys, if you played hoop for years and you played hoop at a high level, you don't have to go to the NBA. You don't have to play at college, but you know, there's guys that play the rec ball at a high level. I know there's some rec gyms that I know nephew goes to a lot of them too, where if you sorry, don't even think about, don't even think about getting on the court because they not going to pass you the ball. All you're going to be doing is getting some cardio and pretty much and Edwards, you can take him anywhere and he's going to be the best player in the room. It's that simple. And I truly feel that this is going to be a guy that takes the NBA to the level that guys like Adam Silver and the the talking heads and the executives, he's going to take the NBA to the level that they're trying to get to. Because right now we're in a log jam. LeBron James is the top of the news the end of the news and that's because he's the game's most recognizable player but they are progressing away from lebron and it's a key opportunity for a guy like this and edwards to hop in and start becoming that household name that guy that is the role model for a lot of the next generation that's coming up. And I feel like he is the one. And them drafting him number one, this might have been one of the safest number one picks in the draft that we've had in the last decade. And he didn't get enough fanfare coming in, in my opinion. But that's because he decided to go play for Georgia, who wasn't a good, they weren't a good college basketball team at that time. And also, he came from a school that was is not on the radar when it comes to these high schools and everything around the country. But he has proven to us that drafting him at the number one spot and, and giving him 
the the push that he received in the beginning all makes a whole bunch of sense now. And the scouts got this one right. The talking heads still kind of hesitant on giving this guy his full props. But the scouts, the executives, everybody got it right with this guy. And I truly do feel he can be one of those players that can get the NBA out of the, the world of LeBron. It's that simple.